Well, to t answer your last question first, I would approach it the same way I approached it when I was in, in the White House. The story we would like to tell in this movie begins on a sunny day in June 1979. And this dependence on foreign sources of oil is of great concern to all of us. In the year 2000, the solar water heater behind me, which is being dedicated today, will still be here, supplying cheap, efficient energy. A generation from now, this solar heater can either be a curiosity, a museum piece, an example of a road not taken, or it can be just a small part of one of the greatest and most exciting adventures ever undertaken by the American people. At some point, the world changed. Could be the first sentence of a fairy tale. But the world has changed more than once. It's changed many times and is in a permanent state of flux. The difference is that we've used so many billions of gallons of oil since then. And so all the climate issues have, well, climate change was a, a concern in the 70s, um, but the reality of it, it's here. You know, the future is here. Remember the day, May 6th, 1979, the day the solar age was born. Because it was grassy and wanted where the last group that the passing there and warned them really bad the same. Uh, Avi, this is a solar panel that Reagan had taken out of the White House. I keep, you know, people my age, uh, I don't know how they look their grandchildren in the eye because the, the effects of climate change are very delayed. The, the greenhouse gases stay in the atmosphere for decades. So even if we started reducing emissions tomorrow, it may be, you know, 50, 60, 70 years before you get the full impact of that policy. Well, it's going to be too late, <laughs> you know. So it, it may even be too late now. Um, and, and my generation won't be here for the most part to, to have to suffer the consequences of that. <laughs>